Hey, what's up, guys? The Dark Shell here, bringing you another LEGO review. So, this is the LEGO Ninjago set called uh, The Golden Dragon Master, set number 70644, with 92 pieces. So, to be honest, I, was actually, I wasn't actually expecting what this was actually supposed to be. But, no, I can see and get and understand why. <laughs> like, what the concept is and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, so let's get started with the only minifigure here. I'm going to just take him out real quick. Alright, we're finally going to see who the true golden ma dragon master is. Are you Alright, you guys ready? Here, I'm just going to take him off. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, it's me? <gasps> Holy cow, it's me! Look at that! Okay, it's been confirmed that I am truly the Golden Master. Like, look at this. Isn't this just amazing? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just fooling around, but yeah. Uh, here, let me just take off my figurehead right there. And let's put on the true Golden Master. No, I'm just kidding. It's still me, but they just had to replace it with this one for some reason. Still don't know why. Here. Just, there we go. But yeah, here we are. This is the Golden Master. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is supposed to be uh, Shifu when he was younger. Like his younger face. I haven't been catching up too much with the actual show, so I'm not entirely for sure. But I do believe that is supposed to be him. But yeah, I do love the design of this minifigure. Though, like, it looks absolutely beautiful. I love the white and gold that's added with him and the dragon symbol on the back as well. Like, it all looks absolutely fantastic. Who knows, maybe one day, if I collect all the ninjas, who knows, maybe I'll be able to do a ninjago mock. But yeah, so on to the main uh, build of this thing. There's only one true main feature to this. I do love its design, but I'm, to be honest, I feel like I was, I was more interested in uh, the Spinjitzu Spinners, like they had back in the day for a Ninjago. Like, this just seems over the top and way too complicated. But, anyway, it just seems real, it does seem interesting, but I feel like it would have been a lot better if it was the other way around. Alright, so, if I pull this, it basically spins around. Like, it's supposed to shoot it up, but I'm not going to try to shoot it up because I do not want to, you know, destroy anything. <laughs> or destroy this, in fact. Maybe one day I'll go shoot it outside and you'll be all get to see that. But yeah, I do think this is cool. I do like the design of it. It just seems, but it just seems way too over the top for me, personally. But yeah, I, I do like its design and the concept. And also I like the handle as well. It's pretty simple and standard, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this. So yeah, I do hope you all enjoy. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you if you would like to, you can like and subscribe for more great content. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I will talk to you all later. Have a good one.